Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tenna and welcome to my circus. I am working on part two of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Collection overview. Um, I uploaded yesterday as I'm filming right now. This might come up tonight, don't know. Um, but yesterday I did a full review using the uh, Big Boy Jawbreaker palette as well as went through the highlighters, the lipsticks, things like that. And I decided that I was gonna do a separate mini tutorial featuring the mini breaker palette so if this is something that you're interested in seeing how the colors in the mini breaker work as well as going through a look with me then go ahead and stick around if you have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button below otherwise we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the video so it's Sunday at my house um, which means it's rosé day Sunday is for rosé so I was at Target and they have these cute little tiny like sparkling rosé cans and they come with little cute like bendy straws they're like adult Capri Suns so I was like all over it so anyway let's go ahead and jump on into this I want to make this like a quick little tutorial so I want to do like a mini tutorial for the mini palette yeah see where I'm going here and um, for those of you that are back yes I actually did my hair today so you are not getting a uh, tutorial by some crazy haired woman that you saw in yesterday's video because today was wash day so we're like in fierce today right um, so today's video mini breaker Let's dive on into it. Um, so Mini Breaker, this guy is a $28 hairs. Um, and this one you get nine shades. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. Um, and I love the chartreuse packaging on everything. It's one of my favorite colors, especially for summer. Um, and then the Mini Breaker comes in this cute white packaging with some like holographic splashes all over it. Kind of like how you would see a Jawbreaker where it has like all the little paint stuff thrown on it. Um, so anyway, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Yes. So yeah, we've got some cool colors in here. Um, mostly oranges, mostly purples. Um, yesterday's video, I did a lot with like the oranges and the yellows and things like that. So I may just stick to some of the purples and pinks. So inside of this palette, there are two colors that are inside of the large Jawbreaker palette. Um, it is these two down here, Bubblegum and Bite Me. You can find them in the Big Boy. Otherwise, the rest of the colors that are in here are exclusive to this palette only. It's the only place that you can actually get these colors. Um, and I honestly picked it up. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it because I spent a lot of money on this collection. Um, but this color right here, Opal, it's this beautiful like purple blue duochrome. And I saw it and was like, yo, we're playing with this. It's it's gonna happen um so that's why I bought it and I've seen a lot of you guys in my comments on my last video um, that strictly only ordered this because it's a little bit more budget friendly I know that Jeffree Star's palette's gonna be a little bit hard on the pockets a little bit hard on the wallet sometimes um, but I do promise that the, it is worth your money um, I've loved every single palette that I've gotten from him and plus they're so uniquely made and just well constructed and like they're just these pretty like pieces you can like display them around and things like that so like I definitely recommend buying the bigger palettes but if you want to buy the little one just to try out his formula by all means knock yourself out you'll probably fall in love with them like the rest of us have um so I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling um before we hop in to this palette though I do kind of want to extend on my review of the brain freeze palette that we did um yesterday this is the skin frost pro palette um so yesterday when I tried this on um I went in with two colors on here I went in with this guy right here which is um a gold breaker and I went in with the color cold shoulder which is the color right next to it um, so I've already used these two and I kind of wanted to try out um, a couple of these other ones just so you guys can kind of get a taste of what the other colors look like on uh, my skin it's really hard to try out you know six different highlighters without looking crazy um, so I'm think I'm gonna try out um, there's two colors here so I actually want to try out cocky right here which is this kind of like cool gold you know kind of color so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this here let's go ahead and pop it onto the face and see how it looks Ooh. so this is like not nearly as dark as I thought it was going to be at all um, I see some of like the bronzier highlights and then those ones tend to be a little bit darker on my skin tone and make it look like I have bruised cheekbones um, but this is actually like a perfect everyday highlight and it's got like a little bit of like that um, coppery gold in there so it just kind of like works with tan skin here for it what should I do for the next one because I already did cold shoulder yesterday which is kind of like a blue iridescent one this one's blue so I'm actually gonna try out frozen fruit which is this pink one here um, so let's go ahead and damn like that's we don't want to get too crazy 
Alright, so let's go ahead and try um, frozen fruit on this side. Okay, that one is blinding. So the frozen fruit one doesn't even really come out to be um, super pink at all, more of actually like a silver. So we've kind of got that silver wetness and then on this side we've kind of got that golden wetness. So overall this is proving to be a pretty versatile palette. Um, the only complaint I will say on this one is it might be a little bit too silvery for my skin tone. Um, that's when I call it the um, Tin Man effect when uh, from a certain angle it looks like your face is actually silver. So looking straight on it's a little bit hard to tell um, with the camera and the lighting and things like that but the problem with um, like deeper skin tones like mine if you get something too silvery you look like you rolled in tin foil on the side like you can see the silver and it actually looks kind of gray in here um, and then things that are a little bit too bronzy and too dark of a highlighter make my cheekbones look bruised um, so anyway yeah no cocky is a really good one um, so is frozen fruit I'm here for it all right, so let's go ahead and jump on in to the palette. So like I said, I already played with a bunch of the orange, so I'm actually gonna try to play with all of these like purples that are all in here. Um, so what we are going to do is I'm gonna pick up a big old fluffy blending brush so that we can pop some color in there in the crease. So first things first, I actually wanna pop into the color of Bubblegum down here. Um, this is also in the big palette, as I stated before. So I'm gonna put that down as kind of like a nice light transition shade. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna pop it all into the crease, blend it out. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on my eyes, that way you guys can see what I'm doing, um, so it's not too far away. So before I go in and do this, I actually want this to be kind of like a bright and poppin' eye look. So I'm actually gonna go in with my P. Louise base, which is a very, very, very light base. It's in the shade 01. Um, some of you guys may have seen this all over the interwebs. Um, but this is like almost a white base on my eyelid. Um, it really helps when I want bright colors to pop. Um, and that's kind of what I want. I know that like pinks and things like that tend to get a little bit lost in my um, skin tone. So I really want to brighten this up. So I'm going to take a little bit here on a concealer brush. I'm going to go in and just tack it all over my lid here. So my lids are looking nice and white and bright, so let's go ahead and take this pink bubblegum color and I'm going to go ahead and pop this in to the crease here and we are just going to blend it all over. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is go into this color right here called Foreplay. It's like a nice barney purple kind of a color. I'm taking this on a Morphe M506, which is a little bit more of a tapered blending brush. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into the crease as well underneath the pink and blend these together. Ooh, she's cute. She's bright too. Blending in with this, it almost looks like more of like a bright um, fluorescent pink than a purple. Cute. So definitely added some dimension into the crease there. Um, next, I'm going to go into the color here in the middle called Purple Punch. Um, this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and deepen it up, really go into that crease and blow it out in our outer corner. So we're looking nice and purple. Um, I'm gonna go in and put down some shimmers on my lid. Um, I think I'm going to stack this opal color here that I really, really liked. Um, and if you guys wanna kinda take a look at it up close, you can see kind of like the, the purple and blue in there. I'm gonna go with my finger here and I'll even um, show it to you guys a little bit. You guys kinda see that? She's pretty. All right, so I've got some on my finger here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pat it on to my lid, and it's a beautiful. It's like a fairy princess color. And I push a little bit of it into my inner corners as well. I'm going in with a little bit on a fluffy blending brush and just kind of dusting it all over in here, just to get rid of any like harsh lines that may be there. All right, so um, with the under eye, I know that like we're going for a purple look, but I kind of want to try to use as many colors in here as possible. So I think I'm actually going to go into this color here, Orange Crush at the top. Um, it's an orange and it's got like a little bit of gold um, glitter in it. So it's not necessarily a shimmer. Um, it's not necessarily a matte either. Um, so I'm actually going to go into this um, and just kind of dust it under the eye and just see what happens. Oh, so bright. 
you can already tell um, on this channel, I'm a very big fan of putting um, random colors underneath my eye. So, going in with a little bit of a denser brush. It's a little bit, it's, it's a, um, they're kind of dusty when you put them on. Like, not in a bad way, but it's just the way I was putting it on, all the, um, all the pigment was going in my eye. And just as an FYI, if you have not seen my last video, um, some of the colors in here are um, pressed pigment. So, I mean, it gives you the warning that you don't want to use it around your immediate eye area. Um, and that's due to staining. Um, these, some of these colors will stain the eyeballs. So just, you know, as an FYI, you'll notice that it's super pigmented and it's beautiful, but you might struggle getting it off later. Not a big deal. I'm still putting it around my eyes because I'm a rebel and I don't follow directions. So I'm not going to. Um, and then to kind of blend this whole thing out, I am gonna go into the color here called uh, Double Scoop. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna blend it in to this orange down here just to kind of get rid of like the harsh um, line that it's creating. All right, I'm gonna throw on some lashes really quick and I am also going to throw on one of the lipsticks that I tried on yesterday. Um, I'm probably actually going to go in with the shade Yes Ma'am, which is like that uh, fluorescent Barbie pink color and we will tie this whole lip together and I will be right back. This is the final look. I tried to use every freaking color in here that I could, honestly, just to showcase what I could. But um, I did use, I used Double Scoop, I used Orange Crush, I used Floor Play, Opal, Purple Punch, Bubble Gum. So the only ones I didn't use was Bite Me, Hot Fudge, and Slice. So I tried my best. I tried to use all of them. And I kind of came up with this cute little unicorn fairy fantasy. Um, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. Same formula as the big Jawbreaker palette, which I obviously recommended. Um, I think this is a great starter palette for people if you are just starting to get into color um, and you've been really comfortable with neutrals. This is definitely a good one to really start playing with those really nice pigmented, buttery, uh, vibrant colors. Um, you know, if you are just starting to get into his products, definitely a good thing to pick up. And then if you're like me and a Jeffree Star Cosmetics junkie and own everything that he has made, it is just another thing to add to the collection of things that you own by him. So anyways, you guys, that is it. That is my full on tutorial thoughts using the mini breaker palette. Hopefully this answered any questions for you. If you have any other questions, uh, thoughts, concerns, whatever, go ahead and leave them down below. Otherwise I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.